Hello everyone and welcome to English with Nino. If you're an entrant, then this video will be useful for you. Mogusame bit walasta, etili koskoni mobzane ba English sursa Nino standardat. Tu khart abit orienti, mashin es video tkoen tvi sasar geblu ikneba. Kada tkoet erom trevandel video shi, kagats not informatsia romeli tsajaro daris snobili ertiani erom noli gamot stebis mier. Kerzot amshen tkova shi kaks mosas meni orientas trametit zlis pirveli variant idan. Tavisi motsemuli davale bit romsa chuen tsavikit khat. Aserom mas visat source kai vardisho sakl shi sakli dam. Kaus lelat, am musas menepse. Da šeit zlostrom saku tar tau sutras. Ramden zuci šeit zlea čajet iosan. Ramden zuci šeit zle kaga. Tos da hlove bit agni am kuari testi. Es video arachu ola brevi savarči šoik ne pamatuis. Mas nahet task one. You're going to listen to five texts. Tkoen mus met kut texts. For each of them, answer the two questions given. The two mat kanze. Up asuhet or kit hasrom el tsaris motsemuli. Mark the correct answer A, B or C. Agnishnet storib asuhi A, B and C. Anu. The two ze gox ori kit hava. Te amaze unda vup asuhet. The two kit has auski de ves A, B de C pasuhebi. You have twenty seconds to look through the questions. Kakt oci tami. Rom kada hedot kit has. You will then hear the recording twice. Shem dekt kwen moismen to recording chanat ers orjel. Anu titol dekt ze chanat eri iknepa orjel mosmenili. Rad kma unda dak uirde da iak me shem uktawaz etes chanat eri rom esaris tot khmet itz utit da ormoc da uritz amit at Miti tebuli, anu totxmet itzuti da ormuc da uric amim im dinare obs mosasmeni, es mosasmeni, ola mosasmeni, sxva da sxva tzute bisrao de no bitaris, no plius minus erti itzuti xeid zlaba da imat os anu agl de samas. Ola xem txo vistuis, nakhav trom tito uli tekstis xem dek, sanu me uret gai me urebs patara, man zilik idev txeba dek, zustat gada itualet ramdeni zami daro, ramdeni txuti dak txerde bat moklet, ola perit kontis momi dvia dek idev erti. YouTube mozgobi lobas, xesa nishnavi dakhmare bax txuan tuis, txuan xegu zilea txavtot titrebi, da ag nishnuli mosas meni, xegu zilea da ger ertxal titrebi tmo isminu, txolo xem dek titrebi zgarexe, rats gagi iolert metzadine obas. Aba, David zgod. Inglisuri enis testis mosmenis da valeba, pilori variante. Inglisuri enis testis mosmenis da valeba, Bolus asuhebs davdept. Task 1. Listening. You are going to listen to five texts. For each of them, answer the two questions given. Mark the correct answer A, B, or C. You have 20 seconds to look through the questions. You will then hear the recording twice. Takurdi tormuci tsami gavida. Ormuzda sami, ormuzda otxi. Sanam da itzgav sao bars. Mola parake, speakeri. Ormuzda ati tsami gavida. Teksti pirueli. Titka mi serti tsu. Every summer, as a kid, I went to the beach for a week-long holiday with my family. My elder brother and I loved riding the waves with a large surfboard. Sometimes dolphins would swim along. Because we had only one surfboard, we took turns riding it. One day, I was in the water up to my waist and waited for my dad to join me. Suddenly, something hit me on my back pretty hard. I wasn't wearing any glasses, so it took me a minute to realize what had just hit me. Boom! It hit me again. This time I saw it. It was as large as a shark. As I panicked, I began shouting for help and rushed to the shore. Meanwhile, the large fish hit me in the back again. The lifeguard was the first person to run to help me. He saw the fish and tried to hit it. At that moment, I saw my dad hurrying to help. He got me to the shore. I was just fine. 
I had some red spots on my stomach and back where the fish had hit me. Luckily, it wasn't a shark, but a large pilot fish that was hitting me. My wife loves to tell this story to our children. They laugh and laugh each time they hear the story. Every summer, as a kid, I went to the beach for a week-long holiday with my family. My elder brother and I loved riding the waves with a large surfboard. Sometimes dolphins would swim along. Because we had only one surfboard, we took turns riding it. One day, I was in the water up to my waist and waited for my dad to join me. Suddenly, something hit me on my back pretty hard. I wasn't wearing any glasses, so it took me a minute to realize what had just hit me. Boom! It hit me again. This time I saw it. It was as large as a shark. As I panicked, I began shouting for help and rushed to the shore. Meanwhile, the large fish hit me in the back again. The lifeguard was the first person to run to help me. He saw the fish and tried to hit it. At that moment, I saw my dad hurrying to help. He got me to the shore. I was just fine. I had some red spots on my stomach and back where the fish had hit me. Luckily, it wasn't a shark, but a large pilot fish that was hitting me. My wife loves to tell this story to our children. They laugh and laugh each time they hear the story. Text 2. Text in my order. Dorothea Lange was one of the most famous documentary photographers of the 20th century in the USA. She took many portraits of displaced farmers during the Great Depression of the USA. These pictures greatly influenced her later documentary photography. Art and literature had been important for Lang since her childhood. Lang's parents both supported their daughter in her education. After finishing high school, Lang decided to take up photography as a profession. She worked hard for several different photographers to learn from them as much as possible. In 1945, the Office of War Information hired Lang. Her duty was to photograph the San Francisco Conference in order to document a very important fact. This fact was the official establishment of an international organization, the United Nations. Lang's first exhibition, held in 1934, immediately attracted public attention. She was recognized as a talented documentary photographer. In 1940, Lang became the first woman to get a Guggenheim Fellowship Award. Dorothea Lang was one of the most famous documentary photographers of the 20th century in the USA. She took many portraits of displaced farmers during the Great Depression of the USA. These pictures greatly influenced her later documentary photography. Art and literature had been important for Lang since her childhood. Lang's parents both supported their daughter in her education. After finishing high school, Lang decided to take up photography as a profession. She worked hard for several different photographers to learn from them as much as possible. In 1945, the Office of War Information hired Lang. Her duty was to photograph the San Francisco Conference in order to document a very important fact. This fact was the official establishment of an international organization, the United Nations. Lang's first exhibition, held in 1934, immediately attracted public attention. She was recognized as a talented documentary photographer. In 1940, Lang became the first woman to get a Guggenheim Fellowship Award. Text 3. Text in Missame. The Terracotta Army, also known as the Soldier and Horse Memorial Statues, is a collection of red clay sculptures of the army of the first emperor of China. The sculptures of the soldiers were put under the ground in 210 to 209 BC, and it was believed that they would protect the emperor after his death. The figures, dating from approximately the end of the 3rd century BC, were discovered in 1974 by local farmers while they were digging a water well. 
The figures of the soldiers differ in height according to their roles, with the tallest being the generals. The figures include warriors and horses. Archaeologists want to learn more about the figures, and they think that the Terracotta army has more than 8,000 soldiers and 520 horses, the majority of which remain buried in the earth near the emperor's burial place. Other Terracotta non-military figures, including officials, acrobats, and musicians, are found in other places. The Terracotta army, also known as the Soldier and Horse Memorial Statues, is a collection of red clay sculptures of the army of the first emperor of China. The sculptures of the soldiers were put under the ground in 210 to 209 BC, and it was believed that they would protect the emperor after his death. The figures, dating from approximately the end of the 3rd century BC, were discovered in 1974 by local farmers while they were digging a water well. The figures of the soldiers differ in height according to their roles, with the tallest being the generals. The figures include warriors and horses. Archaeologists want to learn more about the figures, and they think that the Terracotta army has more than 8,000 soldiers and 520 horses, the majority of which remain buried in the earth near the emperor's burial place. Other Terracotta non-military figures, including officials, acrobats, and musicians, are found in other places. Coca-Cola was invented by American pharmacist John Pemberton in 1886. He fought in the Civil War, and at the end of the war, he decided to invent something that would bring him commercial success. John Pemberton was not a successful pharmacist. He invented many different kinds of medicine, but unfortunately, he didn't earn any money from them. So, after moving to Atlanta, Pemberton decided to try his hand in soft drinks. And this was when Coca-Cola was born. However, Pemberton had no idea how to advertise the new product. This is where Frank Robinson came in. He registered Coca-Cola's formula with the patent office and designed the logo. He also wrote the slogan for Coca-Cola, the pause that refreshes. Coke did not do very well in its first year, but a man named Griggs Candler saved the business. In 1891, he became the only owner of Coca-Cola. Candler decided to spread the word of Coca-Cola by plastering logos on calendars, posters, notebooks, and bookmarks to reach customers all over the country. It was one giant step in making Coca-Cola an American brand rather than just a regional brand. Coca-Cola was invented by American pharmacist John Pemberton in 1886. He fought in the Civil War, and at the end of the war, he decided to invent something that would bring him commercial success. John Pemberton was not a successful pharmacist. He invented many different kinds of medicine, but unfortunately, he didn't earn any money from them. So, after moving to Atlanta, Pemberton decided to try his hand in soft drinks. And this was when Coca-Cola was born. However, Pemberton had no idea how to advertise the new product. This is where Frank Robinson came in. He registered Coca-Cola's formula with the patent office and designed the logo. He also wrote the slogan for Coca-Cola, the pause that refreshes. Coke did not do very well in its first year, but a man named Griggs Candler saved the business. In 1891, he became the only owner of Coca-Cola. Candler decided to spread the word of Coca-Cola by plastering logos on calendars, posters, notebooks, and bookmarks to reach customers all over the country. It was one giant step in making Coca-Cola an American brand rather than just a regional brand. Text 
The contribution of the historian, archaeologist, and public figure Ektime Takaishvili to Georgian history is enormous. In 1921, when the Soviet army invaded Tbilisi, the government of Georgia left for France, taking the historically and culturally valuable treasure, such as old Georgian icons, gold crowns, rings, and many other priceless things with them. The national treasure was accompanied by Ektime Takaishvili, and that's where his biggest mission began. Ektime Takashvili's main goal was to protect the Georgian national treasure, which was at risk. On one hand, British and American museums were interested in buying the items, and on the other hand, the Georgian princess, Salome Dadiani, was trying to prove that she was the only true owner of the treasure. After 24 years, Takashvili returned to Georgia and brought the treasure back. When Takashvili stepped on Georgian land, he looked at the sky, then kneeled down and kissed the ground to show how much he missed his homeland. The contribution of the historian, archaeologist, and public figure, Ektime Takaishvili, to Georgian history is enormous. In 1921, when the Soviet army invaded Tbilisi, the government of Georgia left for France, taking the historically and culturally valuable treasure, such as old Georgian icons, gold crowns, rings, and many other priceless things with them. The national treasure was accompanied by Ektime Takaishvili, and that's where his biggest mission began. Ektime Takaishvili's main goal was to protect the Georgian national treasure, which was at risk. On one hand, British and American museums were interested in buying the items, and on the other hand, the Georgian princess, Salome Dadiani, was trying to prove that she was the only true owner of the treasure. After 24 years, Takaishvili returned to Georgia and brought the treasure back. When Takaishvili stepped on Georgian land, he looked at the sky, then kneeled down and kissed the ground to show how much he missed his homeland. This is the end of the listening section. Mosmenis davalepa dasrulebulia. Mashogurts nakhet totmati tsuti da ormus de sami tsami. Goaks am Mosmenis davale pisatuis. Ekla me davzer titoli textis a zor variants. Da akwe tan undat avshalo radkan arkavazar matsos webi. Da urdit mash irvelshi. Tkwen romili aishchiat. Zor yasi. Odititi asoti davzerot. Meore davale pashi. Sorry, versia B. Aserom media. Sorat kai varjeshet. Tatu S A C araris. Khela khlag idev kada imeoret musasmeni. Tkwenis ne partuit shli am sorry basu khabs rom. Sorry ar kavazar matot rogurt kuit. Achlara chekhba me ore davale bas mash me ore textis me same titwa suprostorat pirvali anu me same si kolo me otre a kada amuts me tsaku taritavi rogur gaart vit am davale bas basuhi. Time of sovereign, Mesa me, C, me outre A, Basuke Bicahot story. Tausli Achlam, Basukeps from Arcavazar Matsot, Chuni Meco Prebi, Nahot Mesa me texti, Rodesats Shemuktavazes, Romili Basuke Bia story, Mash Mehuteshim, Storygah that. B. 
خاله میکسشی سطور وariant دیگم ای ایمیدیا سوستات که هکت دوبل با دتو آفر شدزلیت آر ادار داد چرکی دو کوت درو ایمیت سادیند از سوارچی شو گونی زالیم تا که خمار بات بالاس اسرم اخلاق جفشالوت باسخی نخود مشویده دا میره تا ولی بیس باسخه بی مشویده شیم البته ایرچیت بیم خاله میره شی البته ایرچیت سی مش دای مخصوصیت کار کرد تو ورش زلی تا ولی بیس زودتر که اگه تبات ایده ورد خال موس می ند تکستا که نوی تریت سکو تری اونر چه بی تفشلو تخلام جردس نخود مخوته دا ولی بیس میذخره دا میاته کیت خواست باسو خبی میذخره کخلوت بی دا میاته کخلوت ای ام جرات کیسرو تزرم ده بس تا کیسرو بترم ساق اتار تفزه بهوری این مشاهد تو تکمین فیس هسر که بلوی او اس ویدیو کتخوت مویت آنت گردی کاوز یاره تیگی مگو برپسرم بهورما شدزوز میتادینه او با مدلو باق اورد غبیسا تویس دو دب گیده سخو باری اندبسم